Shared infections are multi-host infections caused by any kind of transmissible pathogen, where at least one wild and one domestic host species can be relevant for infection maintenance. Two such infections caused by viruses are currently of concern for the European Union, namely foot and mouth disease and African swine fever. The native Eurasian wild boar is the ancestor of the domestic pig. Both species share all their pathogens, including foot and mouth disease and African swine fever. Wild boar are adaptable and prolific, occurring throughout the European continent. This video from UFMD aims to guide veterinarians and hunters to deal with wild boar diseases in practice. A dead wild boar piglet is found in a hunting estate. The manager calls the veterinary services. The field team gets ready for immediate sampling. Inspection. This is a female uh, that is probably between six, eight, ten months of, of age. Okay. So this looks normal. Look at the teeth eruption. So with the teeth eruption, when we open the, the head later in the laboratory, we will have the, the precise age of the animal. Okay. Uh, it is located here behind the eye. Okay. Uh, so for entering there, I have to uh, avoid the eye, go this way, and then try to find a foramen that is there. Oop. There. Uh -huh. don't need the whole spleen for our analysis, we just are going to take a piece of it. Fast action is important. As soon as a dead wild boar is detected, samples should be submitted to the veterinary services for urgent diagnosis. We are ready. If there is a positive sample, we'll take actions immediately. As soon as the disease is confirmed, actions should be taken to define and close the infected area. An active search should involve teams of trained persons. Their mission is to detect and signal all carcasses, new and old, present in the defined area.
disinfection is important. After sampling, all carcasses should be destroyed, preferably not on site. Assessing wild boar density and movements is as important as monitoring their disease status. A network of trail cameras will generate this information in the infected area. There are several tools available for non-invasive sampling. Here we use rope and bait to collect wild boar saliva for antibody detection. Biosafety is as important as other actions. Proper carcass destruction reduces disease, maintenance and transmission. Thank you.